I assume she's being held in Gaza. My mother is a very powerful woman. I mean, she seems fragile. She's small. She dedicated her life to promote causes of peace and justice. And aside from that, she managed to be a wonderful mother. We realized something really unusual is happening because she started to hear yelling in Arabic and shots. They themselves in the kibbutz were writing each other, help, help, help. So I started to freak out and I called her. So she was hiding in her uh, closet. And then we heard gunshots outside her window. We hung up so she wouldn't be heard. A few minutes passed and then I, I wrote her again, Ima, Ima. And then she wrote me, Okay, the gunmen are in the house. I wrote, I'm with you. She said, I feel you. 10.54. And that was it. It's a tragedy of war. That's war. And I'm thinking, you know, all the time how much I love her. And uh, I miss taking things for granted. I miss just being, you know, an obnoxious son, and uh, <laughs> I want everything to stop, right? So I call on the Israeli government to negotiate on all over the world to stop this madness, stop the violence, bring every captive home.